What comes next on the outside? And today, of course, I've got a fabulous guest, a Canadian-born singer. Audiences all around the world know who she is, releasing albums like The Big Kiss back in 1987. In the 80s, she recorded the theme song for the comedy film Gotcha. These are all the clues between the years of 1977 and 1987. That picture, if you're watching on TV, literally gave it away. She scored an impressive 14 UK hits, most notably one half of the pop duo Dollar. I'm sure you've guessed it. Yes, I'm joined by the singer, Teresa Bazaar. Hello, Teresa, Hello, thank you very darling. much. So lovely to me. be here. So lovely to be here. My God, I remember Dollar back in the day. That was that was an incredible moment in time, wasn't it? You... How old were you? How old was I? I can't remember. Was I 10? 12? No, 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 I was probably older than that. 20? <laughs> <laughs> Who's counting? I don't know. We don't know. We don't care. The truth is, talk to me about your your life, your career. You're Canadian-born. I've always wanted to go to Canada. Do you have good connections in Canada still? Um, I've still got some family there, but I was there... I was born there, but very little, and brought back to the UK. Mm. And um, I'm a Cotswold girl, really. Oh, Cotswold lovely. country girl, yeah, yeah. So what was it like growing up? Oh, um, I fell in love with ballet at the age of two and a half. And um, that was probably my perfectionist tendencies that were coming out even then. So I loved music, classical music. My late dad was a semi-professional jazz guitarist, so always listening to music. And then I kind of got to about 12, 13, thought, I'm pretty good, but not the right body shape. And I thought, well, I'll sing and dance if I can't be a ballet dancer. And, um, and I went for an audition like you do, you know, mm. you paper the the the, um, the the stage newspaper that had all the oh, ads in the back. That. God, that yeah. doesn't happen anymore. Newspaper no. with an advert, a job advert. Yes, people, there were newspapers. A lot of young people they're watching now. They I know. You'd scan it, and I go, oh, I've got boys and girls who can sing and dance. I'll go there. Mm. And I was so clued in. I was so contemporary and on it. I went with a long black skirt, flat boots, and my mum's raincoat because I thought it's fine, you know. <laughs> I'm just going to sing and dance. And uh, it was for pop group, it was for Guys and Dolls. Mm -hmm. And you, but when you got that as well, um, uh, what, what, what was that like? Because you had a couple of chart, good tracks there in the charts. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was a child. I think I was probably felt like I was about 12 or 13, so naive, mm. kind of very traditional upbringing and really just wanted to do well. So I was so ready to please. I was just wanted to do the right thing and please everybody, um, which... But I, I, I cut my teeth in Guys and Dolls, mm. learned all about pop music and fell in love with pop music, which was extraordinary. And how did you... So how did your meeting with David Van Day happen? Because that's how the old dollar thing... Got, yeah, got so we were actually in Guys and Dolls together. Uh -huh. And I think we got together romantically. He was my first boyfriend. We were together for, what, seven years. Oh, we were so in love. Was I mean, he was the just, love of your life, oh, you look at it? Yeah, it was so, it really? was just, we were so young. And um, I think we were just lonely. You know, it's quite a lonely life, even mm. though you're, we were like a travelling zoo, basically, the six of us. But, you know, we, we, we kind of supported each other and managed to navigate our way through. Mm. Kind mm. Of, we were the cute ones on what, the end. What would you say your, your biggest hit, then, with, with David was? Um, so, in Guys and Dolls, it was There's a Whole Lot of Loving, but then, of course, we both got thrown out mm. of Guys and Dolls and, um, and Dollar was Mirror, born. mirror, mirror. I know. <laughs> what a beautiful... Me, you're the mix, mix, the fine, the fine. OK, so you, remember, you have talent. You, you, I asked you earlier, and I can't sing, no, I really... That's just, uh, I sound like a man when I sing. Actually, I, I could do a little bit of Tina Turner, and I was quite okay, good at that. cool. At that, so when she hits sign notes, I just go silent. Mm. But I want to ask you, um, so you said earlier that your voice was still here, and it was great and very present. I mean, can you sing something little? <laughs> yeah, it, it's just... It's really weird, because actually, we've, um, I went into the studio... Uh, just before I came back to the UK, uh, because you've got um, a new record coming out, mm. which is actually a reinvention of a very big hit. Mm. But it's done in a very contemporary, kind of cruisy dance style. But I had to go and lay my vocals down. And actually, that was one of the scariest things I've done in years. I was in the taxi going, what if I can't really sing like that anymore? What, do I go what am I going to sound like? And I got to the studio, I just sounded the same. And I thought, how could that be when my packaging is changing as we get older? But... My voice is the same. Mm. How weird is that? that? Well, that's very lucky because I know you're uh, currently doing a mini tour <laughs> of the UK, so it's just as well you've got it going on. I know, crazy woman, huh? Mm. After about 40 years, but who's counting? Yeah, yeah. so you took all that time out because uh, I, I didn't hear much of you after after Dolly. You sort of disappeared. You went off the radar. What happened in that 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 bit? Um, I ran away. You ran away? I, th I think I was having a breakdown mm. and I literally didn't know how to cope. So Olamour was a big hit in the charts mm -hmm. and 
David and I had got back together as Dollar. And... Were you back romantically? No. No. And things weren't the same. Life moves on, and I think sometimes it's a mistake to go back. Mm. But I didn't know what else to do. So you kind of go back to a safe place, better the devil you know. And kind of I went back. But it wasn't the same, and I kind of... I didn't know what to do. I should have probably gone and meditated for a few months and chilled out, but I sort of thought, I'm just going to disappear. Mm. And I did for a couple of decades. Decades. And in those decades, what were you doing? Having your family? Yeah. And you've got children? Yeah, I've got two boys who I love and we're very, very close. Um, and... Um, Are you married? Are you still... Um, I am divorced, mm. but I've got a lovely partner who, interestingly, you were having a chat earlier on. Um, my partner, unfortunately, has a neurological degenerative oh. disease. And um, I understand about all that neurology. I've been yeah. reading up about it for years. This has been going on for about seven years. And um, I'm supporting a charity here called Different Strokes. I hope you don't mind me no, mentioning of that. Course. And they um, support um, survivors of stroke, but working and younger people. Mm -hmm. Incredible statistic, a thousand strokes every year in the UK and one in four are working or younger. Mm -hmm. And it's such a huge impact on their life. The, the carers' lives, the volunteers, you know, everyone around you. So, um, so my kind of life is very interesting. It's like in parallels. I'm doing a sparkly pop party tour, but I'm still caring, even at a distance, for my partner, and I have all his 24-7 carers in place. Okay. And he's actually getting a lot of pleasure out of what I'm doing. It's curious, Aww. isn't it? He's, he's actually quite upbeat going, and what happened and where are you going? And it's sort of quite nice. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. And now you live in Australia. I do. Oh, lovely. Sydney. Aren't, aren't you well, scared? Of, are there not lots of bugs that can kill? There are lots. Big snakes. With big, faces. It's actually the little ones. It's the little ones, ones The little ones. But would you like to live in this heat all the time? Oh, I, I love the heat. Yeah, I love the heat, but not all the time. I, I would love it, you know, but that would come at a cost probably with, with bugs that can kill with faces. <laughs> they've got faces, aren't they? Some of the spiders yeah, are that yeah. big that they, they'll actually look at you and go, all right, well, you're going to move or shall I? They're very I mean, scary. They, they, do they, when you see one of those, those huntsmen, is it, those yeah, spiders? But I've never actually seen one up close. Have you seen one? Oh, yeah. And do they, they actually like have a face? Statistic. Do they have um, lots of eyes going around? You know, I don't want to see the cartoon <laughs> ones. <laughs> cartoons. I should just look it up on Google, really. But, but they won't kill you. They're benign. Yeah. It's a little black ones oh, and, the, and the females it's the females that are the deadly ones god mm. there's no surprises there i know they need to beware <laughs> so you're on tour now where's your next tour date um so we're starting a week on wednesday at um the stables in milton Keynes. okay and then we go to leeds city varieties a really gorgeous very very traditional theater and um, we're going to southampton and we're going to london and to glasgow and burnley and chesterfield mm. and wolverhampton i mean we're going all over the place and Gloucester. Yeah. And, and what are you Boston. doing? Are you performing? Oh, it's, it's, what kind of stuff are you doing? Um, so it's a, it's a, it's Teresa Bazaar's dollar okay. with a live band. Oh, how all amazing! The, all the stuff I always so wanted to do. You're going to sing some yeah. of the songs from Dollar, like Mirror. Mirror. All of them, mirror, but, but, mirror. But in your own kind of take of it, or it, will it be keeping uh, no, true it, to the form of it? It, it? it is. I've got a new it, fab male singer. Well, well so David Dande is not going to be... No, he could bring his burger van and maybe park it outside if is, he wanted is to. That what he's, no. Is that what he's doing these days? Have you been um, in touch with him? No, he doesn't really communicate very well. Oh. He's busy doing other things. Oh, bless his heart. Yeah, bless his heart. Bless his heart. But that's, that's how life goes. You, it you, does. You, we move of, on. We move on and we, we move, move forward. On, yeah. So your first tour date is next week? Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, and people mm. can check out... Is that Not right? this Wednesday. No, but... next Wednesday. <laughs> and there's some website that people can go and find it. Yeah, yeah, there, all my socials. I do social media now. You do? Who would have thought? Yeah. Who would have thought? Well, you have to, otherwise. And it's how, how many followers have you got? Um, I'm almost up to 15,000 on Facebook from 2000. 15,000 on Facebook? Yeah. That's very good. And they're all real. I've only got 6,000. Okay, what, well, about, what about on Twitter? What you got um, I've got two and a half on Twitter. Uh, but I, every, I know, but everyone knows, <laughs> everyone knows it's me because I make mistakes all the time. Oh, they go, terrible. it's definitely her, it's not someone doing it for her. But you, I kind of go, I'm trying, I just want to communicate. You need to do the verify so that you can edit it when it goes wrong because you send them out and you go, oh, my God, there's a mistake. Oh, how do you do that then? Oh, do you need to get verified. OK, all right. Get verified, okay. but you're a yeah, that, anyway. That's the tick. Yeah, that's the ticket. Listen, it's been such a good talking to you, Teresa. Thank you so much for coming in to talk to me about Thank what you're you doing. I'm going to say a big hello to Anne as well. Oh, yes. So yeah, much. my singing partner, Stephen Fox's mum, and <laughs> she loves you. Oh, she, and they had their 56th wedding anniversary yesterday, so happy anniversary. Oh.
Thank you very You're much. You're gorgeous. You're, so are you. And I watch you from Sydney as well. Oh, I really? Do. Oh, I my do. God. I do. Theresa Bazaar, thank you so much. Pleasure. Lovely to meet you. And you. As, of course, Theresa Bazaar. She's got a, a wonderful tour that she's doing in this country. Please check her out. Thank you so much to her for coming in uh, and joining me. But on the way, the Great British Debate this hour, and I'm asking, is it time to put the brakes on net zero? But first, let's get an update with